Have you ever wondered how a nuclear weapon works and why it's so destructive? Today on Science and Technology, we delve into the intriguing and somewhat terrifying world of nuclear weapons. These weapons, looming large in our collective consciousness, are a potent mix of scientific marvel and potential catastrophe. At their core, they operate on the principles of two types of nuclear reactions, fission and fusion. Fission involves splitting an atom's nucleus into two smaller ones, releasing a tremendous amount of energy in the process. On the other hand, fusion is the combining of two light atomic nuclei into a single heavier one, also resulting in a massive energy release. These reactions, while vastly different, both harness the colossal power contained within the very fabric of matter itself. It's this power that lends nuclear weapons their extraordinary destructive capacity. But how exactly do these reactions occur within a nuclear weapon and what makes them so incredibly destructive? Stay tuned as we explore these questions further. A nuclear weapon operates on principles that are both fascinating and terrifying. At the heart of these devices are two primary processes, nuclear fission and nuclear fusion. Now these might sound like complex scientific jargon, but they are in essence simple mechanisms that unleash a vast amount of energy. Let's start with nuclear fission. Picture an atom, tiny yet brimming with energy. Fission occurs when the nucleus of an atom is split into two smaller nuclei. This splitting is caused by the impact of a neutron a particle found in the nucleus of an atom. Once the nucleus is hit, it splits, releasing a large amount of energy as well as additional neutrons. These newly freed neutrons then go on to split more atoms, creating a chain reaction. This chain reaction is the heart of a fission bomb, also known as an atomic bomb. Now let's move on to nuclear fusion. Fusion is the process in which two light atomic nuclei combine to form a heavier nucleus. This might sound counterintuitive. Why would combining things release energy? Well, it's due to a principle called the mass-energy equivalence. In a nutshell, the mass of the resulting nucleus is slightly less than the sum of the two original nuclei. This missing mass is converted into energy and released. This is the principle that powers the sun and the stars. It's also the mechanism that drives a hydrogen bomb a type of nuclear weapon far more powerful than an atomic bomb. So we've got fission, where we split atoms to release energy, and fusion, where we combine atoms to do the same. Both processes release an astronomical amount of energy, which is what gives a nuclear weapon its immense power. The chain reactions of fission and fusion can release energy equivalent to millions of tons of TNT, all from a relatively small amount of matter. So, the power of nuclear weapons comes from these nuclear reactions. But why do these reactions result in such massive destruction? The destruction caused by nuclear weapons is unlike anything else in our world. When we talk about the destructive power of nuclear weapons, we're not just talking about a big bang. We're talking about a release of energy on a scale that dwarfs anything else we humans have ever created. This energy comes from the very heart of atoms, harnessed through nuclear reactions. In a nuclear weapon, heavy elements such as uranium or plutonium are forced to split or fission by a conventional explosion. This fission releases an enormous amount of energy, but it also produces neutrons, tiny particles that go on to cause more fission reactions, creating a chain reaction. This chain reaction is what makes nuclear weapons so devastatingly powerful. The energy released in these reactions is converted into the destructive force of the weapon. The immediate result is a massive explosion, many times more powerful than conventional explosives. The blast wave can obliterate buildings, flatten forests, and create a crater several hundred feet deep. But the devastation doesn't stop there. The explosion also emits harmful radiation, which can cause immediate sickness or death in those close to the blast, and lingering health problems in those further away. This radiation can also contaminate the environment, making areas uninhabitable for years or even decades. The immediate effects of a nuclear explosion are horrifying, but the long-term effects can be even more so. The radiation released by the explosion can cause genetic mutations, leading to an increased risk of cancer and other diseases in survivors and their descendants. 
The environmental impact can also be severe, with the potential for long-term ecological damage. But perhaps the most terrifying aspect of nuclear weapons is their potential for mass destruction. A single nuclear bomb can destroy an entire city, and a large-scale nuclear war could potentially end human civilization as we know it. The power of nuclear weapons is truly awe-inspiring and terrifying. But what have we learned from our discussion today? Let's recap what we've learned about nuclear weapons today. These instruments of immense power and destruction are not just simple bombs, but complex devices engineered to unleash the raw energy stored within atomic nuclei. At the heart of a nuclear weapon lies the principle of nuclear fission or fusion, or in some cases, a combination of both. Fission weapons, often known as atomic bombs, work by splitting heavy nuclei such as uranium or plutonium. This splitting releases a tremendous amount of energy, resulting from the conversion of a small amount of mass into energy. As described by Einstein's famous equation, E equals mix E squared. Fusion weapons, also known as hydrogen bombs, operate on the opposite principle. They combine light nuclei, usually isotopes of hydrogen, into heavier elements. This process too releases a vast amount of energy and is in fact the same process that powers our sun and other stars in the universe. But why are nuclear weapons so destructive? It's the sheer amount of energy they release. A single nuclear bomb can release energy equivalent to millions of tons of conventional explosives. This energy takes the form of a shock wave, a heat wave, and a burst of lethal radiation causing widespread devastation and loss of life. Understanding nuclear weapons is not just about understanding the science, it's also about understanding the immense impact they can have on our world. The use of nuclear weapons has far-reaching consequences, from immediate destruction and loss of life to long-term environmental and health effects. As we continue to delve into the fascinating yet terrifying world of nuclear science, it's crucial that we keep in mind the responsibility that comes with such formidable knowledge. As we've seen, nuclear weapons are a testament to human ingenuity, but they also serve as a stark reminder of our capacity for destruction. Thank you for joining us today on Science and Technology. Remember to like, comment, share and subscribe for more intriguing scientific content. Until next time, keep questioning and keep exploring.